So on this video, we are going to analyze VEX 75 and VEX 100 on S. So starting with the DXY on the daily chart, we have an overall trend to the downside. As you can see here, we have a series of lower highs at the top and then a series of lower lows at the bottom. So I can just illustrate that using a trend line like this. And then we have an impulsive move and then let me just do this we have an impulsive move a corrective price action an impulsive move and another corrective price action of which you expect an impulsive move to reach the 90 percent rule or the overall lower low here so moving to a four hour chart we are going to focus on the pattern within that larger pattern so let me just do this Let me just remove like this uh, drawing around here and then we focus like on this price action around this area. So this is the price action that we're going to focus on on this time frame and then we have the overall 90% rule that is our target and then another target that you should have is this one here at the lows. So most of the time you'll find that I'm drawing only this a high here using like this high here as my reference to get like those cells and then we broke uh, the mass psychology area around here so we had like that mass psychology activation around this point here and then we, uh, we were using like this high here instead of this one here so let me just do this so moving to a hour time frame let's check the hour time frame So on the hour time frame, we look for our entries. Let me just push up the price action. And then let me just correctly put the card, the price action. Okay, so we had like this last leg at this point here. And then we had like our, our push down and then first corrective move. And then we had another push down. And then we expect like a larger flag here to continue pushing to the downside. So my thought process on the larger flag that is coming up, it's pretty simple. You just look left and then you have this high point of which the market is currently in and then you have like this high point. Yeah, so I'm, ju I'm just going to put like a real line on this high point just because the market is already here. So I'm just going to do this and then I'll be having like this type of an ascending pattern here with a double top around this point. Now let me just do this. And then if you want to filter it out on the lower time frame, you can filter it out on the lower time frame. That's fine. But I prefer putting it like this so that I can get to understand what's going on uh, in this point here. So I'll be waiting for a clear push down and then a tight flag at this point and then look for selling opportunities. Or if I want to, I can just take the entry around here since we had like a reversal candlestick pattern here and engulfing and my stop loss should be just above this point here just because the market can just push back to this point and then we can get like those saws so those are the scenarios that i have to look for uh, a four point a five point nine percent as to reward on this trade here and then this is the overall trade sorry about that let me just do this. Let me just remove like this. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, this is the entry that I'm looking forward to taking on VEX 75. And let's look at another pair. So on VEX 100, as we are on the daily chart, and then as you can see from the left, we have a clear push down, the type, the corrective move, and then a clear push down, and then the corrective move. So we expect further sales from here. And then what I'll be doing is that I'll be focusing on this current market structure. We have this high here. We have this one here of which the market has already tapped. And then I'll just draw the price action, the larger pattern for this price. And then as you can see here, we had like this impulsive move, corrective move to the upside up until this point. And then we push to the downside. 
So I'll just give you like my thought process on this one, on the lower time frames. So let's switch to the four hour. So on the four hour, we have like a clear ascending channel approaching that top of the structure like this. This is the ascending channel that we have. So what I'm thinking, since we had like a clear push down and then a tight leg and then another push down, I'm thinking that the market will just give us like a larger flag from this point here, or it can just push to the upside, create a larger double top before we can get those cells let me just do this so what i'll do is that i'll put like the straight line at the top of the structure just like that just before we can get like that that will talk for us to get like those selling opportunities so let's switch to the hour chart So on the hour chart, that's where you can see that the price action very clearly. Let me just remove this analysis and I'll just show you the thought process that I have in this one. So we have this pattern on its own and expanding on its own at this point. And then we have a tight flag around this area here. And then the reason I'm classifying this one as a tight flag because we had like a push up and then a clear push down and then we corrected for a little and then we pushed to the downside so now we are correcting so i'll just remove that and then i'll put like a ray line at the top just because it seems like the market is correcting to that same area that we are looking at as our high value area and then we have created we have created an expanding pattern and then we have an ascending within that expanding like this so on this one i'll be taking uh, an entry on the break just like this i'll be taking an entry on the break my stop loss is just above here and then it's a bit high you can take like an entry on the break or you can just wait for a clear override double top maybe get like an override double top then you can take an entry from there and then your stop loss is just above this point we are aiming for the third touch and the overall 90% rule of which that's around at this point here it's around this point here for 9.6 percent and then the overall target that's at about the slow here for 15 percent 